A nine-month investigation into a fatal Virgin Galactic spaceship crash has found that pilot training fell short. The crash happened on the 31st of October last year near the Mojave Air and Spaceport in California, killing one pilot and seriously injuring the other. An investigation by the National Transportation Safety Board has concluded that the test pilots were unaware of the catastrophic consequences of unlocking the craft's movable tail section too early because of poor training. The National Transportation Safety Board determines that the probable cause of this accident was scale composite to consider and protect against the possibility that a single human error could result in a catastrophic hazard to the Spaceship 2 vehicle. This failure set the stage for the co-pilot's premature unlocking of the feather system as a result of time pressure and vibration and loads that he had not recently experienced, which led to uncommanded feather extension and the subsequent aerodynamic overload and in-flight breakup of the vehicle. Both crew members were test pilots for skilled composites who designed and built the spacecraft for Virgin and the investigation found that the company should have informed the crew of what could happen to the craft when the tail section was unlocked too early. The spaceship was the first of a planned fleet of five vehicles that Virgin eventually expects to use to fly passengers on short suborbital flights into space with tickets selling for around a quarter of a million dollars each. The new spacecrafts will now include a mechanism to prevent pilots from unlocking movable tail sections too early.